something very cool just arrived. That is pretty. This is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. It's a new 3D printer that's received a lot of hype. They had a big Kickstarter this year, and I hadn't actually heard about this printer until people started commenting on my free 3D printed repair videos, telling me that I should get one of these to help speed up my prints. Well, the team at Bamboo Lab also saw those videos because a few weeks ago, they sent me a message offering to send me an X1 Carbon. Now, full disclosure, I did not pay for this printer. They sent it to me, but with no strings attached. They didn't ask for anything in return. I am under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about this printer. So any opinions I share about this are entirely my own. So why is there so much hype around this printer? Well, it's a core XY 3D printer, meaning that the extruder moves in both the X and Y directions. Compare that with a Cartesian printer, where the Y movement comes from the bed moving forwards and backwards. And that core XY movement, plus a lot of other features and engineering, allow this thing to print super fast. But it's not just the high-speed printing. As far as I can tell, this thing has almost every feature you could ever want. First off, it arrives pretty much ready to go. It takes about 10 minutes to set up out of the box before you're ready to print. It's fully enclosed, Wi-Fi enabled. It has an integrated camera that you can use to monitor your prints and make time lapses. This model comes with the automatic material system. You can load in four filaments and have them change out throughout a print. It uses artificial intelligence to scan the first layer and it can automatically detect spaghetti so you can avoid ruining your hot end. It has auto bed leveling, active vibration compensation. This thing feels so much like a robot that it's almost scary. Maybe that's just a factor of core XY printers because they're so fast and powerful, but when this thing gets going, it is loud and it causes a lot of vibration. Oh my gosh. I was really just filming that to show you how much this shakes this old cheap computer desk. And I just so happened to catch it's shaking so much that the lamp fell off. I might need to build like a specialty table just for this printer. This thing is such a beast. Look at that, that's wild. And the vibration doesn't seem to cause any issues for the prints. The prints are super high quality, but the movement is a lot when this thing gets going. But it's so cool. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Compared to any printer I've ever used, this just, this feels like the future. It, it does. So fast 3D printing is cool, but what does it really mean? And to answer that question, I wanted to put this thing to the test. My parents are visiting this weekend. Actually, they're coming tomorrow. And we've only been living here for about a month. So we've been scrambling, trying to clean up, get the guest room set up, get all the housewares that would convince parents that we don't live like a bunch of college students, which we kind of do, but there's still one thing that we need. Here, let me show you. So I'm in the bathroom and we got this nice little corner shelf for our shower. But as you can see, the soap is just sitting on this little bamboo platform. And before long, this is gonna be a gross melted mess of disintegrated soap. So we need a soap dish. And sure, I could go to the store and buy a soap dish, but wouldn't it be cool if I could 3D print it faster than it would take me to buy it? Okay, so here's the game plan. Google Maps says it will take me 17 minutes to get to the store. That's a 34 minute round trip, plus let's say about 10 minutes for shopping, 44 minutes total. Now I found a very fun soap dish on printables.com. I'll link it in the description, it's, it's awesome. Guess how long it's gonna take on the X1 Carbon? 43 minutes and 30 seconds. It is going to be close. Let's do this. Before we start the race, I wanna give a big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Are you running out of things to watch but don't wanna pay for seven streaming services? 
Well, what you might not know is that many websites restrict what you can watch based on where you are in the world. ExpressVPN lets you change your online location to unlock the full catalog of your favorite streaming service. I want to watch Atlanta, but because I live in Canada, it doesn't show up when I search it on Netflix. No worries, ExpressVPN has me covered. All I need to do is find out where in the world that show is available, open up ExpressVPN, and change my online location to any one of 94 countries in the world. When I hit refresh, boom, Atlanta shows up and I can watch it no problem. And by rerouting your network traffic through secure encrypted servers, ExpressVPN also protects your data, which is great peace of mind for me whenever I'm working on a public network, like in a cafe or an airport. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by going to expressvpn.com slash morleykurt or clicking the link in the description below. Now let's go start the race. I'm hitting print from the slicer. Oh my gosh, my heart like is gonna be so close. I have the directions written on my hand so that I don't have to look at Google Maps, but okay. Left and all those, let's go. Okay, we got this. Printer's ready to go. All the doors are unlocked. Shoes are on. All right, I'm hitting print in the slicer. Okay, it's going, I'm out. Oh my God, I'm stressed. All right, I can take a left here. Oh, I just realized I forgot a backpack. I'm gonna have to carry this. Luckily that time estimate was for a bike, so I'm hoping I can make up some time with the speediness of the one wheel. Dang, stop sign. That's it. School is getting out, so there's school buses everywhere. Come on. There we go. See ya. Street like this, you want to be on the sidewalk. Wow, this is sketchy. Come on, green light, let's do it. Oh, protected left turns. I can see it, it's right over there. I see it, it's right there. We're so close. Excuse me, guys. Can we get a YouTube video? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's sick. Thanks, man. That stuff is over here. Not over there. Oh. All right, these are some options. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. It's only nine bucks. Okay, we'll put a pin on that one and see if they got any others. Ooh, do I want a loofah? No, stay focused. Yeah. I think we got it. There's a bit of a line. This might be where we lose our lead. Cashier number three, please. Let's get it. Good, how are you? Can I do visa, please? Um, I don't need any wrapping or anything, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just put it in my pocket. Thank you very much. You too. We got our soap dish safely in the pocket. As long as I don't fall. If I fall and shatter, this will kind of be a failure. All right, let's get out of here. Right there. Right, this is like the most dangerous crossing because no one is looking for pedestrians. They don't expect that someone's actually crossing here. Somehow I need to cross all of that traffic. Just waiting. That woman did not see me. Ooh, ooh, there's a car. 
I feel like this isn't the way I went to get here. Like, I know I can get home going this way, but I think my like instincts just kicked in the way I normally drive. Um, I don't think we're gonna go on the highway. Eh, it's fine. I know how to get home from here. Green light. Man, I love life. All right, getting close. All right, home stretch. Dish. Ooh, that's nice, man. Let's see. And time. Final count. 33 minutes and 28 seconds. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That one wheel, man, it's fast. Let's see how the print's doing. Still cruising. 12 minutes to go. Well, guess the robots aren't taking over today. So one thing I have noticed with this printer is that the print seemed to adhere super strongly to this cool plate, which is the default plate that comes with the X1 Carbon. I coated it with a glue stick like they said, but still it's like every time I take a print off, I'm worried I'm gonna damage this thing. Haha, <laughs> how fun is that? This is entirely PLA. And because the webbing section is printed so thin, this is actually an infill pattern. So you do 0% top and 0% bottom and the 15%, I believe, grid infill, you get a little soap hammock. How fun is that? All right, so I don't love the solid green, so let's make another one of these, but this time, let's take advantage of the automatic material system. Right. Oh, look how cute that looks. I also printed this scraper, which should make removing this a lot easier. Oh, yes. That looks awesome. Oh, it's so cute. See, there's a soap dish. Oh, it's like a little a little tropical soap dish. I know. Aw, it's so sweet. boop dee doop dee doo But I had a thought. Here, come to, come to the bathroom. Make me a, a human size one? <laughs> that would be awesome. So, I mean, I got, I got that soap dish at the store. Yeah. Which I think is really nice. Yeah, it is. So, I'm thinking we use the hammock soap dish. I'm thinking oh, we do a little... Oh, for the sponge? That's ridiculous. Shoop. I love it. And then it'll actually, like, dry. It's a little zen sponge thing. I love it. I think that's super cute. Very, it's so much, it's like the ugliest possible grossest sponge on the brand new thing. Here, wait. Beautiful. That's hilarious. They're gonna love that. They're gonna, th I think my mom is gonna want me to make her one. Three hours later. <laughs> this is 3D printed. That's adorable. Is that what I want one of these. Yes. I knew you would want one. <laughs> is that for the thing? Yeah, someone designed this for like soap and sponges. Oh, it's so nice and the air goes through. Yeah, and it dries off. Love that. Wow. <laughs> that's, one of my, that's one of my pet peeves in the kitchen. Oh, the the wet mildewy sponge? Exactly. That's brilliant. Oh. All right, here's your parting gift. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm gonna put it right in the kitchen. In the end, I did build a stronger table for the X1 Carbon, which definitely cut down on the noise and vibration. But it still is a bit louder than a Cartesian printer, and that might just be par for the course. It's funny, in the past few months, I've done barely any 3D printing. I just haven't felt very inspired to do that kind of work. But I will say that the X1 Carbon has rekindled my love of 3D printing. And I think it's a few things. It's the ease of use, the Wi-Fi capability, the dependability to get good quality prints, and the speed. 
definitely the speed. I know, I did beat the printer in the race, but the X1 is still lightning fast. I mean, it printed this vase in two hours and 40 minutes. This would have taken nine hours and 50 minutes on my Prusa Mark IIIs. But if you look in the slicer, the printer was only printing for 35 minutes and 15 seconds. A full seven minutes and 15 seconds of the total print time was quote, prepare time, which is the automatic bed leveling and flow calibration. You can skip those steps. And if I did that, the printer might've actually won. A lot of people only do those steps every 10 prints or so. And I've started printing it, but I haven't had this thing long enough to know what's the proper amount. Now, slight disclaimer, this printer is a bit on the expensive side. The X1 Carbon with Automatic Material System is 1,450 US dollars. It is the top of the line model though, and you can get the X1 for just under a thousand bucks. But there are other 3D printers that also cost a thousand dollars and claim ease of use, high print speed, and quality. And for some people, myself included, those are very desirable qualities that are worth paying for. Like if you're doing free 3D printed repairs. And so far, the X1 seems to do it very well. If you would like to see what I'm up to behind the scenes, you can gain exclusive access to the behind the scenes Instagram page by supporting this channel on Patreon. I wanna give a special thank you to my top patron, you met her in this video, my mom, Kathy Kurt. Thanks mom, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.